In this video, we'll go over how to find ratios for the GED. And a ratio is just a fraction. Depending how they ask the question, whatever they put first is going to go up top, whatever they say second in the bottom. And then we could break out the calculator, because there's a nice fraction button here. We're going to put the students up top. So we'll put 10,149. And then over the faculty or the teachers, 1194. Okay, but surprisingly, when you hit enter, you're done. Because 17 over 2, that is the ratio. But there are three ways to write a ratio. So as we could see, our answer, same thing as the middle thing, same thing as D there. And that just tells you for every 17 students, there's two faculty. So it's just a way to break these down into something you can visualize. Now this one's pretty complex, but we know it's a ratio, so we know they're all going to be a fraction. And let's jump into it here. Saul has T movie tickets. In other words, Saul is T. Oladipo has six less tickets than Saul. But we need to break this down a little bit here, because Oladipo now when you see six less, it's always minus six at the end. And then Saul is T, so it's gonna have to be T minus six. And then Trisha, she's four more than Saul, but once again, Saul is T, so it's gonna be four plus T, or T plus four. So that's what Trisha's got. And then finally, we want the ratio of Trisha to Oladipo, so Trisha is up top. We'll put them in that order. Bada boom, it's gotta be C. This problem is based on algebraic expressions, so I'll put a link to that video if you wanna practice those. Now, if you're doing a ratio with percents, you could just leave off the percent. So the ratio of Johnson's votes, that's 24, to Smith's, 34. You could just stack the numbers, so let's do it. Got 24 over 34. Simplify it. So 12 over 17, same thing as A there. And that just tells us for every 12 votes that Johnson got, Smith got 17. And one last one. Here we're finding the ratio, but for average speeds. To find an average speed, you just do distance divided by time. So if we take Kim, for instance, and we do 150 divided by four, That'll end up giving us 37.5. Same thing for Mo. We do 180 total distance divided by 6 total time. That'll end up giving us 30. And finally, we want the ratio of Kim to Mo. So we'll go ahead and put that value up top, that in the bottom. Let's do it. We'll do our fraction 37.5 over 30 and 1.25, but if you hit the button right above enter, it'll convert it. So the ratio, five to four, same thing as C, five to four there. I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know what questions and issues you run into. Good luck, you got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.